The Minn Kota Raptor Remote is designed to make using your Raptor as easy as possible for years of reliable time on the water. Occasionally, Minn Kota engineers will develop new software for your Raptor and for your remote to address minor software bugs or to offer new innovative features. When new software is available for your remote, the remote will receive that new software from the Raptor controller inside the hydraulic pump, and it will do this automatically. However, you'll first need to download the latest Raptor software update either from MincotaMotors.com or by using your Raptor app to download it from the cloud. After updating your Raptor controller, if there was new remote software bundled within that latest update, all of the remotes that were paired to your Raptor will automatically begin to receive the new software update from the controller. You'll be able to tell because the remote LEDs will begin slowly scrolling across the top of the remote. When this process is complete, the LEDs will stop scrolling. After a software update to a remote is complete, all of the remotes will need to be repaired to the Raptor controller one at a time. To do this, press and hold the up and down arrow buttons on the remote until the LEDs begin to scroll quickly across the top of the remote. Then, immediately press the pair button on the Raptor controller. If you're pairing a remote to a dual Raptor system, you'll only need to press the pair button on one of the pumps. The blue LED on the pump will begin to flash, indicating the pump is now in pairing mode. When pairing is successful, the pump will emit a triple beep, and LEDs on the remote will flash quickly, indicating that pairing was successful. If pairing was not successful, go ahead and repeat the process again. Repeat this process for all of the remotes you wish to pair back to the controller. Over time, the battery in your Raptor remote may need to be replaced. You can look in the device list of your Raptor app or on the device list of a Humminbird Fish Finder that you have connected to your Raptor. Look under the device list labeled Smart Bluetooth. There you will see an approximate reading of your battery level. Keep in mind that remote battery readings can be heavily influenced by how much the remote was recently used and by ambient air temperature. Colder weather will show lower battery levels. You may also see the LEDs across the top of your remote illuminated in a steady state. If you see this, that's an indication that it's time to replace your battery as well. If you need to change your remote battery, you'll want to use a 3 volt coin cell battery labeled CR2450. To replace your Raptor remote battery, use a flat blade screwdriver or a coin to open the battery compartment door on the back of the remote by rotating it counterclockwise to the unlocked position. Remove the old battery and replace it with the new battery with the label side of the battery facing up. Before replacing the battery door, make sure the O-ring around the battery door is seated properly around the face of the battery door. Replace the battery compartment door by aligning the unlocked icon of the battery door to the small arrow on the back of the remote, and then using a flat blade screwdriver or coin, rotate the battery door to the locked position by turning it clockwise until the locked icon is aligned. Replacing the battery to your remote does not require repairing to the Raptor controller. You should now be ready to use your remote. For more information and instructional videos, be sure to visit our website at MincotaMotors.com and find us on YouTube under Mincota Motors.